back. Um, this is part two. The work it on the hair on these two babies. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more thinner in here because it needs to be super runny. Okay, that's about right. I may need to add more. I'm not sure. Okay, so I've baked these. As you can tell, it's just kind of like a skeleton of what it's supposed to be. And there are a lot there are a lot of layers left to go over, so best way to do it is just to do it. It needs to be thin enough to spread. Yeah, that looks a little better. Now with these layers, I'm gonna pretty it up a little bit. Oh, like that. I'll make it a little prettier. Easier for me the further along I go. <laughs> I was pretty glad that it was. It uh, it seemed to be drying kind of white. And I think that was the thick that I put in there. I've never had that happen before except for yesterday I had the thick in the, the blush and I was going over um, one of the baby's cheeks um, just to make it a little redder. And for some reason it was drying really weird. Follow the flow all the way around. Keep your brush light to the touch if possible. for my dogs are playing <laughs> and I'm gonna do this color for a couple of layers more at least one more and then I'll start lightening it up, like I was telling you earlier. I'm going to try to keep the length the same across the bottom. <laughs> Dogs sound funny, don't they?
Okay, so I am just making sure that it's going to be about the same length all the way across. doing two babies at the same time it may be a little easier for you guys to have um, more practice maybe or whew, you can follow along easier because I have to bake between layers and it always takes forever to bake and I don't want to make a whole bunch of these if I don't need to but um, some of these layers I'll be doing off camera and I'll just tell you guys how many I've done. But I definitely wanted to do the first two videos so you can see that it doesn't start out pretty. Pretty comes later. same path as the ones before. Oh. <laughs> um, definitely don't do that. And it's okay if they're just little short hairs and they're not like super long and elegant. Like mine are never elegant. And if you want a more um, barely there hairstyle, you'd want to do a smaller brush. And then on top of that, you would want to um, not use as many layers, obviously. I'm not quite sure where that came from. Okay. I'm going to use a smaller brush for the temple area. And I'm just basically filling in some hair. Just smaller strokes. And I'll do actual baby hair later. Okay. 
Let's see. Looks pretty good. that dry oh, yeah. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna work on the other one while it's doing that I'm gonna go ahead and start with the um, temples on this baby so I'm gonna start them and then pull them down Them if you want a wave. <laughs> Good thing about Genesis is uh, if you mess up and don't like, you can just wipe it right off. When I do the baby hair, I'll make it a little bit more realistic there. For some reason. Maybe my paint is thick enough. <laughs> See that? Crazy. Just a uh... definitely looks better on one side than the other, but that's okay. We can straighten it out. And it usually takes me all day to do hair, especially since I've got two babies, actually three, I need to mix up some red paint for the third one. It's been so long since I've done care red hair, I don't even remember how I mixed it up. sitting over there on the table, coffee table, and my dog got a hold of it. Don't leave wrappers out for dogs. Mm -hmm. 
trying to stay on camera and where it's easier for me to paint. I don't mind painting hair. It's just, I think it's the stress of trying to do it right on film. It's getting to me. Because this is not a pretty process. <laughs> I wish it was. I wish I could put it on there. Because I've seen hair that looks absolutely gorgeous. Super fine baby hair, and I have never been able to do that. But I am going to learn. Um, I'm going to a doll show and learning how to uh, pencil hair, but I will not be teaching that. If you want to learn how to pencil hair, then you'll have to um, take a class, a paid class for somebody. I'm not sharing another artist work. And how I learned how to paint hairs, there's some videos on YouTube that you can follow along with besides mine and then I just sort of tweaked it so even though you learn my style you can tweak it to make it your own so it doesn't have to look like mine completely and I encourage you to find your own style and find what's easier for you to do Woo, sorry. Doesn't seem like it's going on as dark as the other one. It's the exact same paint though. I'm just not putting it on as thick. I don't know. It's, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to let it dry. Mm, I don't really like that. Mm. Let me try that again. I think that just made it worse. I'm gonna get a smaller brush, maybe that'll help. And I'm just using thinner to wipe it off. Oh, there's a smaller brush, maybe that'll help. I 
and I'll be using the smaller brush um, more with the layers, the top layers. Okay, so I'm going to let this set. Again, it's not super pretty, but it'll start to come together. So, um, this is the end of this video.